Then you take out whatever the remaining water is and you only add a dash, a dash of milk. My name is Imani. My name is Larry and I'm 77 years old. And I'm 34 years old. I felt he was a pretty attractive older gentleman. How much is this bank on RuneScape? That's what we gotta know right now. How much is it? And then when I saw him in person, he did not disappoint. We have been together for over nine years. There was a point when I suddenly started looking at it and think, I can't imagine not having her in my life. The thing I love the most is how much he talks. He <laughs> loves conversation. So there's never a dull moment. There's never a moment where I'm bored. Sometimes I think that I have these vast experiences, but she understands everything. I'm always amazed at her grasp of everything we talk about and are things she teaches me. I always knew I would end up with someone older than me, but to the extent of 43. Bro definitely has life insurance, bro. Guaranteed, by the way, guaranteed. For years, no. It's definitely something for me to think about and take into consideration because there's a lot that comes along with it. For instance, like his health, when his health declines, when he gets older, what that's gonna look like, how that's gonna like affect our day to day. But I think it's only natural to be concerned about what's gonna happen to someone's health as they get older. When you're much younger, you don't think about that far down the line, but because I'm closer, I think about it. So we openly discuss these things. If it came to a time where we were going our separate ways, I would see myself dating a woman. I am bisexual. No one could compete with Larry. This is a gold <laughs> standard, and so I'd really be kind of disinterested in dating a man. Chad, you think they ruck? Sorry, I just had to ask, because I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think they ruck. And I would be more interested in pursuing a woman. He was already dancing. I do competition and then, ballroom dancing. Yeah, and then I was like, well, I want to dance with you too. So I was like, let's take a class together. The most magnificent thing he treats me to is shopping sprees in Paris like I I think that has to be the most like spoiled I've ever gotten in my entire <laughs> life. He wow, we didn't see that one coming, huh, chat? <laughs> very rarely tells me no. I would say he kind of spoils me on a regular basis. She has no expectations. She's very, very grateful for everything that it's done. All right, let's take a quick photo for Instagram. I'm in. Got it? Yeah. I think the biggest misconception about our relationship is that I am in it for the money. Generally. my age that I meet, they usually assume I am housewife type of deal where just I'm spending all day cooking and cleaning for him. She felt it a lot more than I did. I'm very aware that I get more of a pass than she does. It's a combination of our community and then just societal norms. They just assume that it's our relationship is different. People are uncomfortable with different. So one person. <laughs> at least at least like 3,000 gifted Dora. Commented. Yeah. You in it for the money, be honest, which is not true. I'm with him because I love him. And if I was with him only for his money, I probably wouldn't be with him for this long. Someone else commented, but will you make daddy a sandwich, not just a gold digger, but a sandwich burner? That's what I wanna know. Not only do I not refer to him as daddy, but I'm not making anyone a sandwich. I'll Uber Eats a sandwich. <laughs> We pretty much just brush it off. You know, when they stare, I give them a, yeah, thumbs up. Eat your heart out. You know, no, I don't do anything. I hardly, I barely. Wait, what's so bad about making your husband a sandwich, though? Not that, bro. That's crazy. Like, she even has the ego to make him a sandwich. That's crazy. Well, that is. No. No, that's crazy, though. No, no. Like, come on, bro. It's not even a big deal. Like, the only thing I could cook in the house, I'm going to be honest, is macaroni and cheese. And whenever Selena and me are craving it, I'll make it. My macaroni and cheese is goaded, gentlemen. Mac my macaroni and cheese is goaded.
Let me tell you what you guys do. This is the trick. Are you guys ready? You guys boil the water. You wait till it does those bubbling noises. Okay? You slab that macaroni in there. You move it, move it, move it. You let it boil, blah, blah, blah. Until you take one out, you try to cut it, and it just, you know, it's very soft. Okay? Then you take out whatever the remaining water is, and you only add a dash, a dash of milk. A dash of milk after you take out all the water. And then you grab salt and you sprinkle the salt on the macaroni and then you mix it. Chat, my macaroni and cheese is goaded. Um, like that macaroni and cheese could probably win Chopped. You know what Chopped is, gentlemen? I'm um, Chopped. I could win that show if I just made macaroni and cheese the whole time. Aware of it. I think the fact that we get judged has made us strong as a couple because it's strengthened our communication, in a certain way strengthened our bond with one another. She has been discriminated against all of her life, and I've never encountered that. Oda, can we watch Chopped on stream? Honestly, hot dog, like what if we watch an episode every time I eat every day hot dog? That could be a f***ing play. Think about it. And we watch like a whole season on stream. What a play! It would be like this. Sup, Serena, you've been chopped. Like that. That. So when we're talking about these things, it gives me a greater awareness of the difficulties she has to deal with in her life. It gives me more empathy to her situation. So yeah, that has helped strengthen our bond. So most people assume we're probably not gonna be together for that long because I'm probably gonna want kids in the long run or something like that is gonna be a drastic change and that's not gonna happen for us because I don't want children. Like when I'm by myself, and I get stairs, I get it, cause I'm like, oh. Yo, Jack, can I tell you something? Did you guys see like the, the decrease in people wanting to have children? It's crazy, guys. The decrease of that is crazy. Nobody wants to have children anymore. I know why though, I know why, because let's just say uh, some people can't have children. Oh yes, oh yes, they have to adopt. Let's just say that, guys. Yeah, let's just say that one. <laughs> somebody said, um, somebody said, uh, I got three, oh, and I didn't want to have none. Yeah, yeah. I mean, shit. I mean, kids are expensive, bro. You got to be financially stable if you want to bring a kid in the world. And because of inflation and pricing and, and all of that, like, it's kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of crazy to have a child. Formula is hella expensive. Like, I can't fathom. That, that amount of like one formula bottle, what that shit costs. That shit is crazy. Oda, you're a millionaire. No, 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 it's still expensive as hell. I'm not a millionaire. It's just expensive. Like you just got to admit when something's expensive. You know what I should have done? Oda, diapers are expensive, bro. Diapers are not that expensive compared to like if you buy formula dark ring. Formula is stupid expensive. Like I'm talking about stupid expensive. Oda, are you a father? If I'm talking about formula right now, I'm obviously a father, Mr. Smurfy Bear. Oh, I'm six feet tall. Like people are probably looking at me like, whoa, not too many six feet tall black women in this area. But specifically when I'm with him, I view it as I'm getting judged because of the age gap. Boy, shut up.